I'm Alana and welcome to Button Bash. I'm at the GDC play area right now where we've just finished playing a whole bunch of indie games from Surprise Attack. So first was Fort Meow. And it's kind of like what it sounds like. It's a video game that's kind of the reverse of Angry Birds where cats fling themselves at you in an attic and you have to build a fort to fend off these cats. So you have loads of different items you can use to kind of set up that fort in the way that Angry Birds kind of would with the pigs. So uh, I didn't get to play much of it and there wasn't a whole lot of variety, but I can't imagine this getting really, really challenging in the long run as there are a bunch of different varieties of cats. And I do really, really like the idea of it, so I'm definitely interested in playing more, but it seems like a kind of casual tablet mobile game that you can probably enjoy on a train ride. Listen here, maggots. We're in the business of shooting aliens. And guess what? Business is booming! The second game here at the Surprise Attack booth was Space Sluggers, which was kind of an ode to a variety of other sci-fi games. There's obvious Mass Effect references, some alien references, and loads of different aliens for you to kill with giant oversized weapons. So it's a co-op shooter with a variety of different circumstances. Sometimes you have to defend an area, sometimes you have to take down a boss, and sometimes you have to go through some creepy alien infested dungeons in order to find something like a beacon. So it seems like there's a lot of variety. And uh, in the meantime, one thing I particularly liked, if you're waiting between missions, you get to go to a spaceship and explore different planets and choose what missions you want from those different planets with different difficulties, very much like Mass Effect. but not least game was Dungeon League, which is a towerfall style arena game with RPG elements, where you basically have 160 second rounds against other players to win. In one of them, you might just have to kill the other players with a variety of ranged moves. I played as someone who can spit fire, fling phoenixes, and use a staff to basically make all of the enemies burn, but some people have ice attacks and a variety of different things like that as well. Uh, beyond that, there's also a capture of the flag kind of level where you have to hold a room for a certain amount of time and battle your friends. And for each level, someone wins and it's a best out of three kind of competition. So this one was really, really fast paced. You die very, very easily and was honestly quite frantic, but something that the competitive side of me really, really loves. And I'm going to be looking forward to playing this with friends kind of on a couch, maybe with some drinks and getting really, really angry at each other in the long run. I'm Alana and thanks for watching Button Bash.